Right, I'm Mick Gordon from Melgon World. I'm here today with James uh, and we're in, uh, in Cumbria again. James runs this rest and recuperation area for the, for the racehorses and we've got a problem with rabbits in the paddock. Uh, the digging holes, spooking the horses and uh, we're here to take care of them this evening. But uh, James, you can give us a bit more information if you can. Well, the worst thing you can have with horses in the field is uh, a few holes in the field, not good at all. Absolutely. Uh, these are some quite nice horses and obviously trying to look after them and it's just a matter of keeping on top of the rabbits not exterminating them totally. no exactly no, i agree yeah yeah you just yeah. want to you know get rid of everything just want to keep the balance that's it exactly yeah. it. absolutely exactly. so and, that, and that's that's what we're here to do tonight we're going to head out to the fields see what's out there uh, zero the gun in first check the zero on the gun first make sure we're right and uh, hopefully get some rabbits Right, we just uh, we obviously swapped the scope from the TDR to the uh, to the S510 tyke, so we need to, need to uh, do a bit of re-zero. I've just took a shot on a, an old wooden stump that's set out by the wall. Nice safe bite drop, uh, and it's just a case now. I just adjust the the the, the windage and the elevate and the elevation, and we should be bang on. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward step, as most thermals are, but this pulsar one is like really piece of cake to do. So, just bear with me. Right, so that's, that's pretty straightforward. It's uh, it's a little bit different to what I've used before. Uh, the, the, you hold the, the white dot on the point of impact and you move the red cross. Uh, sorry, you, you hold the white dot on the point of aim and move the red cross to the point of impact. Uh, when you've finished and press all the buttons for the final time, you actually see the crosshair and the white dot meet up in the required position and that is quite a nice little uh, confirmation of what you've done is right because you can see the, the heat spot where you've hit and you can see where you was holding so I'm impressed with that, good little feature Right, we've got that bang on zero now. Uh, the beauty of this is that we don't need to use silver tape to reflect the heat of the sun and we don't need to use any heat pads. Uh, the pellet is actually leaving a nice heat source trace after you took the shot. Uh, and when you reconfirm that, when you're zeroed in, it's bang on top of each other so you can see exactly where you're hitting. So uh, saves a little bit of mess about with tape and heat pads. Take a walk up the field and see if we've got any rabbits waiting for us. This, this cattle field, there's at least three foxes down the bottom and I think they're scaring their rabbits out. I'm squeaking them and they're coming so far up and they're heading back and I think that's because of the cattle. We're using the cattle to mask us, which is working good, but the fox aren't too sure. I can see the fox now without the thermal. Yeah, it's very inquisitive about what's going off. together down there but uh, unfortunately there's not much we can do about that we've only got the air rifle with us got a feeling I'm coming back this week with a more appropriate rifle We've 
walk both fields. Uh, we've seen three foxes, and I think between the foxes and the cattle, uh, the rabbits have done a run. We've seen one rabbit down here, and we've got here, but the cattle are behind us, and that's good. I've got it on the scope, but next thing I know, the cattle are crashing into a container behind us. So uh, that scared that off. But uh, yeah, interesting. It might be another visit with a different gun on a different day for the foxes. And uh, get the cattle shifted out, we can get it back on the rabbits. Which should be nice. Just a little one, but a uh, little one's going to be one. Straight behind the ear. sat there since we came through the gate. Uh, it moves off towards the old tractor. Then it's just hiding behind some sort of container. It's waiting for it to pop its head out. It's another one down. These are the ones that's causing a the problem. They're coming from the field. They're coming this way. Getting down to the paddock. Down to the walkers. Walker areas. And the digging holes. The last thing you want. Any horse. Especially a race horse. Which is foot down a hole. It's usually curtains for it. Let's go and find this one. I'm pleased to say that there's a little bit of drizzle coming in. It wasn't really forecast, but the uh, the thermal's cutting through it quite nicely. You'll get some uh, lower end thermals as soon as it starts getting a little bit humid, a little bit misty, raining. You just lose everything, so it's whitening out, but this is holding its picture quite well. I've got to say I'm impressed with that. Right, let's try the next field then, shall we? We're coming to the third field now. There's a slight incline, I'm going to head up this way. There's a tree line on further along this corner. It's going to slowly rise up. There's a horse in this field somewhere, it's quite friendly, it's not a bit of a problem. But the rabbits are generally at the top end. I've just seen one here before we came through, but as we go over the fence, it's gone. But they're usually all up at the top end. We're going to set up with a tripod. We're going to wait for them to come to us rather than chase them around the field. That's what I did last time, we were quite successful. The surrounding fields we haven't got permission for, uh, and there's usually hundreds in there, so hopefully they're coming this way. Let's go. I've spotted one already with a, with a bit of spotter. Uh, it's probably about 100 yards away. It's right on the horizon, so there's no shot. But uh, we'll try and get a little bit closer to it. Get a see a bit of a backdrop. We should be okay.
here from nowhere, that's the most been right in all. I know when I first, when I first came to this field, I met with the owner, and he'd been going around trying to block all the holes up uh, with stones. But, uh, I says, like, if you want me to shoot him, you want to leave them, them holes open so I can get to him. Uh, but now it looks like there's too many holes. Must have lost. Three or four. Let's just drop down a hole. We've got an adjoining property next to us that we've not got permission to shoot on. That's actually rinsed out with rabbits. Temptations there, but they only lead to trouble. Taking shots on people's land you've not got permission for. So hopefully they'll come our way, and we'll take what we can from our side. It's just sat behind the long grass. It's just waiting to come out. That's the one I was waiting for. I knew it was there. Just kept popping its head up. A little squeak brought his head right up. I think we'll collect that one. Call it a day. Police report, that's another one down. Right, it's uh, nearly quarter to one. Uh, nine rabbits, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine rabbits from, uh, from the paddock area. Not a massive amount, but uh, it's nine out of the way, and uh, it's just about everything we saw we shot. We've lost a few down the holes. Uh, which is not good, but the field's actually riddled with uh, with rabbit holes. So uh, that's another reason we need to get rid of them, because there's horses in there as well. So, uh, all in all, I think it was quite a good night. Pallets worked brilliantly. The gun, the thermals worked fantastic. Uh, tomorrow, I'll skin these out. Uh, obviously using the the uh, RWS knife from, from Roig. Uh, and the... And the the Quake chair, which is kind of supplied by Terry, so uh, nice little comfortable chair. I'll skin them out and get some pictures of them for you. But long, long day. But uh, nine rabbits. I'm happy with that. I think I think we're doing all right with that. There's uh, there's more to be had out there. Conditions are really still. There's not a breath of air, any movement, any noise. It's all relayed straight back to the rabbits. You can see them running off. So it's a case of waiting for them. Instead of trying to stalk them and get to them, just sit, stand in the middle, wait for them to come out. But, like I say, all in all, good day, good night, and uh, we'll have these skinned out tomorrow. Alright, I'll start putting these away.